Greetings. This devotion is for the 15th of June, and our reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 21, verses 11 through 14. To the house of the king of Judah say, Hear the word of the Lord, O house of David, thus says the Lord. Execute justice in the morning and deliver from the hand of the oppressor anyone who has been robbed, or else my wrath will go forth like fire and burn with no one to quench it because of your evil doings. See, I am against you, O inhabitant of the valley, O rock of the plain, says the Lord. You who can say, who can come down against us, or who can enter our places of refuge? I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, says the Lord. I will kindle a fire, kindle a fire in its forest, and it shall devour all that is around it. Now here's the background here. The it, Babylon, it, it, of course, to the north. Now Judah, Judah would be the southern most part of the kingdom of what we know as Israel. Um, at that time, it would have been Israel to the north, Judah to the south, where Jerusalem is. Okay? And Babylon is coming down from the north. And, and they're fighting the armies of Israel, and Babylon's winning. Israel turns to Yahweh, to God, for help. And, and while Yahweh does, if we read before this point, um, is directing Jeremiah to, to say to Babylon, Yahweh also has words for Israel and for Judah. Israel slash Judah had taken its faith in Yahweh for granted, if you will. They felt they were good. They were God's chosen. Oh, boy, it sounds a lot like they were pretty entitled, if you will. So Yahweh calls to Jeremiah to hold those in, in Judah accountable for their actions. Sounds sounds about right, eh? mm -hmm. and and here's here's that that stark message to us that being a Christian does not mean that we are good to go. No, I'm not talking about whether God forgives us or not, but being a Christian it means that we're called to responsibility. God has given us. Eh? We are, we are saved, and therefore, because we are saved, we are called to be responsible to do what God wants us to do. In short, we are saved, and therefore called to serve. Join me in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.